Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So this video is probably going to be shorter than normal, but I saw this great tip online and thought it'd be uh, worth sharing with you in case you have some use for it. So in this scenario, we've got a very basic two column table here. We've got a list of results. And simply here, I want a visual or a visual way of uh, representing obviously the size difference between all these numbers. So I'm going to create a bar chart or a single bar for each one. So in order to do that, all we simply need to do here is go equals REPT. So as in short for repeat, open brackets. For this example, I'm going to use the uh, vertical line. So to do that, I'm going to do the quotations, holding down shift, the vertical line, depending on where it is on your keyboard. And another quotation, I go comma. And then how many times do I want to repeat this number? So for me, I want to do it 60. Well, I don't want to just do it 60. I want to select, obviously, this cell, which contains my first value. Hit enter, and you can see, obviously, it's now given me 60 repetitions of that symbol I provided. If I was to put something like a P in here, like the letter P, you can see it's going to give me 60 of them. But for this example, as will become clear uh, in a minute, we're going to be using the vertical line. If I simply copy that down, you can see how it's replicated for all of those other rows. And we can see, because it's going to repeat it a number of times, we've got the actual true scale uh, comparison between each of these uh, columns. Well, not even the column, sorry, each of the rows. So what I'm going to do next is literally highlight these rows in question, obviously depending if your range is larger. And we're going to go up here and in our font selection, we're going to type the word play. And you'll see we get the option of play bill. Simply all I'm going to do is hit enter. And you can see we've now got this great bar uh, for each of those rows. So you could stop here uh, if that's as far as you want to go to. Although I'm going to take it one step further and add some conditional formatting to really get a good uh, different or differentiate between these rows. I'm going to simply copy or no highlight all that range. And by default, I want to change the font color to orange. So let's go into our drop down here and select orange. And then so we can see by default it'll be orange. So let's just reselect this range and this time go into conditional formatting and go into create a new uh, new role, a uh, new rule, sorry, if I get the words out. And the option I want here is use a formula to determine which cells to format. And simply all I'm going to do here is go equals length. So this is going to be counting the, the length or the number of characters available in a cell. Uh, and the first one I'm going to do is select the first cell in my range, which for me is going to be C5, close brackets. And the rule for this one is if it's 75 or greater. So all I'm going to do is if it's greater than 74, so obviously 75 and above, I want to change the uh, font color to a green. So once that opens up, we can see we're in the font tab. Let's go down and select a nice green. Oh, I don't know if I've got any nice, well, there you go. That, there's a green, we get the idea here. And we'll select okay here, and we'll go okay again. So what you can see what's happened there now is any value 75 and greater, we can see it's now changed to green. So what I'm gonna do is select our range once again, conditional formatting, new rule, uh, use a formula to determine which cells to format. And then in here, we'll do equals LEN, open brackets. And again, we'll go C5, that's the first one in my range, close brackets. So this time we want anything that is less than 25. And if it's less than 25, I want to change the font color to red. So we can go get a red there, click OK, click OK once again. And you can see only one of the values has obviously uh, fallen into that criteria. So let's say we change this 65 to maybe 15. Hit enter, you can see it's now going to not only change the size of that bar, but it's also going to change it to uh, red because it's less than our criteria of 25. Again, sticking with the same one, let's just try and make this one 50. We can see it's going to orange. Let's make it to a number 75 or above. So we're going 95. And you can now see we've got the green. So it's a really dynamic solution and it's a great way to take a very simple 
uh, single column of data and represent that visually via a bar chart. So I hope you found that video useful uh, and whether you have some use for it now or maybe you have it in the future, hopefully this will be a good tip that you can use in your Excel files. If you did enjoy that video, please don't forget to like the video and also subscribe to the channel so you're notified as soon as we bring out any future videos. And if you do have any questions about this video, just drop me a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next video.